Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about bridge design pattern. This is also one of the pattern from Gang of Four design patterns. The bridge pattern is a structural design pattern. The main intent of this pattern is to decouple an abstraction from its implementation so that they both can vary independently. Now it's a little bit hard to understand exactly what this means. So I'm going to start with an example which does not implement bridge pattern and then I'll go ahead and implement the bridge pattern for this example. Now for the example that I have taken is a notification system. So let's consider we have a notification processor which is an abstract class and it has a process notification is the method and this is the abstraction and then we have a text notification processor which implements the notification processor it overrides the process notification and here it is just setting the protected variable notification message with the incoming message. And then finally we have another class called text notification sender which is responsible for sending notification and what it does is it implements the text notification processor and then it overrides the process notification and here first it calls the base dot process notification and then finally it will send the notification here in my example I just did a console dot write line. And similarly, we have an email notification processor which does the same thing. It sets a protected member. But here, since it's an email notification, it uses some sort of HTML content along with the message. And finally, we have an email notification sender which is responsible for sending the email notification. So this is a normal implementation of a hierarchical class where if we want to send a text notification we can still use notification processor as our incoming object as the contract and then we can pass in the instance of text notification sender and that will be used to send the notification. So if I have to give an example in here for example in the controller we can have something like notification processor and we can declare the notification processor and then in this method we can do notification processor dot process notification so that's all let's say we do and then I can go into startup and here I can set up the implementation and I can say services dot add singleton and for the contract I'm going to use notification processor and for the implementation class I'm going to use text notification sender so that's what I can do and now if I run this application I can go here, try it out, execute and if I go into the console response we can see text hi there which is the expected output from the notification sender. Now let's consider what are the problems with this kind of implementation. Another thing I want to mention as you might have seen I have put all the classes into the same CS file. I did just for keeping everything together for the ease of showing into this video but otherwise every class should have its own CS file. Okay, so let's talk about what is the problem with this implementation? Why do we need to change this at all, right? The main problem is this inheritance hierarchy. For example, if we now, um, this is the contract, if we have to make any change to this contract, now all the implementation of the test notification sender or email notification sender will also be impacted because they are tightly coupled. So anything changed in this contract will change the implementation also. So how do you do it? How do you decouple this tight coupling between an abstraction and the final level of implementation? That's where bridge pattern comes into play. 
Now one thing I want to mention is that once I implement the bridge pattern you will see that if you implement the solid design principle properly you would probably not need anything like bridge pattern or you'll get the bridge pattern out of box. Once I show you you will see it will get clearer. So in bridge pattern as I said, the main goal of the bridge pattern is to decouple the implementation from the abstraction. So how can we do that? First of all, let's change the implementation from a class to an interface. And we can have this. And then we can have a test notification processor, which will implement I notification processor. and it will have process notification. Now let's make this thing as private. And then what we can do is we can declare another interface called public interface I notification sender. And the notification sender can have a method called void send notification. Yeah, this is the content of the notification and then here what we can do is we can declare a constructor and we can inject I notification sender and then in the process message we can actually get rid of this because it's not that useful right now and we can say notification sender dot send notification and pass in the message and the same thing we can do for text notification sender now we'll have i notification sender and then let's implement the interface and we can just copy this implementation here, get rid of this class and this can be a message. Similarly, email notification processor will be I email notification processor. We don't need this. We don't need this variable anymore. Create a constructor and I notification sender. And then here in the process message I can say notification sender dot send notification and just pass in this value and finally this one is going to be I notification sender let's implement the interface and let's just copy paste this method and pass in the message. So as you can see what essentially we did is we created a bridge between the notification processor and notification sender because the notification processors implementation is using notification sender now to send the notification. Hence what we have done is if anything changes as a part of iNotification processor which will be changed in test notification processor but it will not impact the final implementation of notification sender. So that's how we decoupled the abstraction from its implementation. Now as I mentioned at the beginning itself if you implement solid principle properly this will be the implementation anyway. If you are dealing with a notification message and you want to process the notification as well as send the notification you will never create a hierarchy. You will always end up creating a notification sender which is single responsibility class responsible for notification sending. Notification processor is like a controller which processes the notification and uses the notification sender to send the notification. So as you can see this implementation or this speech pattern will happen out of box if you are just using solid design principles. Having said that, now let's go back to the startup and let's configure I notification sender and then let's also do services 
dot add singleton notification processor and text notification processor and then what we can do is here instead of notification processor we are going to use i notification processor and then everything else would remain exactly the same and if we run the application we should see the exact same response in the console it should say text and print out the message along with that so if we execute here we can see text hi there so this is a very simple implementation of breach pattern and as I mentioned initially back in the days before solid design principle it really made sense of using breach pattern but after I started using solid design principle I feel like breach pattern kind of comes in for free with solid design principles if you are using solid properly you will end up getting into pattern of bridge out of box because you will never have one hierarchical giant implementation for anything you'll always break things down into individual single responsibility classes and interfaces so that is all i wanted to cover for this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have any question regarding this video please leave a comment below and if you are new to my channel if you think you are getting value out of my channel please subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching this video